Great. So now let's look at the IAS 23, a brief summary about it, and then we solve questions in our next meeting for IAS 23. IAS 23. Now, IAS 23 talks about borrowing costs. IAS 23 talks about borrowing costs. Everything you need to know about IAS 23 borrowing cost borrowing cost everything you need to know about it borrowing cost first of all we we'll start with what is borrowing cost don't tell us that is the interest rate or it is the interest cost if it's only interest we have mentioned interest cost. Borrowing cost simple means it refers to all costs incurred by an entity in connection with what acquisition of finance or loans. So if you acquire a loan, any cost you incur before you get a loan, and even after getting the loan, after receiving the loan, before, after, during, all costs incurred. Please, the loan itself is not part. The principal is not part. It's not part of the cost. No. No, sometimes there's a small, small amount that you have to be paying on it. So, borrowing costs include the following number one, examples of borrowing costs interest expense. Interest word expense. Number two, admin charges. Administrative charges. Number three, processing fee. Processing or fee. And so many more. All these are what? Boring cost. Now, let's look at the treatment. Accounting treatment of boring costs. Then that's all. For the purpose of your examination, interest expense will be used to represent the borrowing cost. That does not mean that a serious examiner could not change it. They can change it with this. So take note, issue cost. Can we add issue cost to it? Issue cost. Or TC, transaction cost. That is all. Now, the question is this. For the purpose of your examination, most of your exam questions use interest expense. That does not mean that when examiner brings admin charges, you will not solve it. When I bring processing fee, you will not solve it. Issue cost, you will not solve it. No. That is all. Let's quickly go to the accounting treatment. Accounting treatment or borrowing cost. How do you treat borrowing cost? Mm -hmm. So borrowing cost. That one is issue cost. Now, accounting treatment. Of borrowing cost. There are two treatments of borrowing cost. What are they? Number one. Number one, we have what we call the benchmark treatment. Benchmark or the traditional treatment. Traditional treatment. And number two, we have the allowed. Allowed or alternative treatment. And this one is given to us by what? IES 23. Now, benchmark or traditional treatment. Before IES 23 came into being, how do you treat borrowing costs? Now, all borrowing costs were expensed. So that is not that before IES 23 came into being, any borrowing costs that we incur, we expense them. So tell us now that the treatment is like this. All 
BC. BC means boring cost, no shortcut exams. All boring cost. Okay, our expense, that is all. So traditionally, before IS23 was in all boring costs, we expense them in a PNL. Then let's go to account treatment two. Allowed or alternative treatments. With the allowed, that one is the IS23. Following the issuance of the IS23 or after IS23, IS23 says this, here is capital letters. Some, some, some of the borrowing costs eligible for capitalization are capitalized. So some of the borrowing costs eligible for capitalization are what? Capitalized. Eligible. Eligible for what? For capitalization. Are what? Capitalized. Okay, so take this point. You really say, oh, look at the words that we are using. Some of the borrowing costs eligible for capitalization must be capitalized. Or you can say that all borrowing costs eligible for capitalization must be capitalized. That statement is different from all borrowing costs must be capitalized. They are, they are not the same. Okay. All what I'm saying is that some of the borrowing costs that qualify, capitalize it, those that don't qualify, expenses, that's all. Those that don't qualify, expenses, then you are done. So this is the IES 23 version. Okay. Now let's see something. Let's see something here. Now, we are saying that some of the borrowing costs eligible some of the borrowing costs that are eligible or all borrowing costs that are eligible that qualify to be capitalized you have to capitalize them then the question is what are the conditions before a borrowing cost will be what capitalized so i will go through the condition the condition is just one condition Condition. So on, on what basis do you capitalize the borrowing cost? So let's look at that one. We said that it's borrowing cost incurred in acquisition or construction of what qualifying assets. So the entity must capitalize the following. So the entity must capitalize capitalize all borrowing costs in care in acquisition acquisition or construction construction of what qualifying asset wow asset that qualify okay qualifying assets that's all so the standard is saying that before you can capitalize the borrowing cost make sure that that asset is what qualifying assets so we have qualifying assets Good. What is qualifying assets? Qualifying assets, they are assets that they take substantial time before to make them ready. They are not ready-made assets. Assets that will take time. So, for instance, he took a loan, company took a loan some years back to just finance the construction of their office building. So that becomes what a qualifying asset. 
Now, manufacturing inventory or finished product is also qualifying assets. You pick a loan to go and buy raw material, and now it will take time for you to process it to get a finished word product. So raw material or inventory of finished goods, they are also words, a qualifying asset. Any asset at all, that will take time. Now, if you pick a loan to go and buy a car or office vehicle outright, it is not a qualifying asset until you probably ask them to modify the vehicle for you, which will take some time. So if that asset that I want to buy, it's already made. You go like this with your check, you give them the check, you take the asset to that's not a qualifying asset. You go, you like it, tell them that okay, can you change the color for me? Change this one, change this one, you take maybe some time. That one is qualifying asset because it's not ready at the time that you requested for it. That is all. So take note. So we are saying that all borrowing costs that you incur. So if you probably secure finance or secure loan to acquire any qualifying asset or even construct it yourself. In fact, the interest or any other cost incurred on it, that to capitalize. Don't forget I've mentioned we've explained borrowing costs already, which we can talk about what interest, right? Processing fee and then transaction costs. Good, all those ones. All right. So we are done. So take note that borrowing costs, the one that we can capitalize is on what? So it means that still we have borrowing costs that we don't qualify. So we don't capitalize it. It does not qualify. So if I pick a loan, and I don't use the loan to buy or construct a qualifying asset, then I'll not capitalize it. It will be expense in a financial statement, the PNL as well, finance cost. So we still have some borrowing costs that we expense them. The only borrowing cost that you have to capitalize is on the qualifying assets. <laughs> so if you pick a loan, not to construct qualifying asset, please do not capitalize it. We are begging you. That's the standard. Do not apply it. Okay. Now, when do you start to apply the borrowing cost? There are some stages. So I'll discuss those stages with you. Then we say bye bye to borrowing cost. The next is just question solving on the two types. That is all. If we're able to go through it before next week, I think we can um, add the next standards to it. The next standards. On probably 15th of um, this month. Okay, so that is that. Now, when do you commence the capitalization? So, commencement. Commencement of what? Capitalization of borrowing costs. When we start capitalizing the borrowing costs, the standard give conditions, something that must probably be there before you can start capitalizing it. It's not like you secure loan to construct a qualifying asset. That day now, then you must start. You start uh, article capitalizing the borrowing costs. No, there must be conditions or circumstances. In fact, I'll summarize them here using just short, 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 short words. But in the material, when you're reading it, yes, we have to talk plenty in the material. So take note, these are the short, 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 short answers that you can give to the members. Now, before you can capitalize any, or before you can commence, start the capitalization, make sure that the following three conditions are in place. So conditions. Number one, expenditure on the qualifying asset is being incurred. Expenditure on the qualifying asset is being incurred. Good. Expenditure on the 
qualifying assets is being incurred. Expenditure on qualifying assets is being incurred. Expenditure on the qualifying assets, meaning that the expenditure on the acquisition, construction, production of the qualifying asset is being incurred. So that is it. So expenditure on the qualifying asset, qualifying asset being incurred. So expenditure. It means that before, let's assume that you took the loan January, February, March, April. You took the loan here. You took ninety thousand, and then. Uh, in fact, the contractors, he started paying them much. So we are saying that, or you started incurring, incurring what cost. Because sometimes you tell them, okay, you have to work up to this level before I'll start paying you. So that means if they've not worked up to that level, you've not incurred any cost. That's not okay. So it means that even though you took the loan, January, January interest, let us know the interest is ten percent per month. January interest is nine thousand. February nine thousand. March nine thousand. So the capitalization you have to start from where March, according to this rule, because that is where you started incurring what construction costs. Where exactly you started incurring the construction cost? That's where you have to start from. So take note. Not when you go for the money or the loan. So these two interests must be expensed in the PNL and capitalize it from where? From much going. That is the meaning. So the expenditure of or the expenditure on the qualifying asset is being incurred. That is true. Okay, let's go to the point two. Point two, borrowing costs incurred. Borrowing costs um, are being incurred. So borrowing costs are being incurred. Borrowing costs are being what? Incurred. Borrowing costs are being incurred. So we are saying that before you can capitalize the borrowing costs, Make sure that uh, you actually pay the interest. So if you have received government interest-free loan to construct your office building, please you don't need to capitalize any interest. Why? Because you've not incurred any interest because there's no interest on this loan. So make sure that you've incurred what borrowing cost. Make sure that you've what incurred borrowing cost. So sister, thank you. Brother, thank you, loans. The loans that you don't need to pay interest on, such loans don't need to capitalize any interest on them. Don't lie to yourself that, oh, government has given me 120,000 cities to, to construct my office space. If I should have probably paid this loan from any of the commercial banks, I will pay interest at a rate of not less than 10%. At least I'll pay 10%. So let me capitalize 12,000. No, 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 no. If not, you get it, please. This is opportunity cost. You have to get it. So that is it. The last one is very important. The last one. The last one. Activity necessary to complete the assets are in progress. So activity necessary. Activity. Activities necessary. So necessary to complete the assets are in what? Progress. So activity necessary to complete the assets are in progress. So take note of that. Necessary to complete the assets for each intended use or sale are in what? Progress. 
So it means that before you can capitalize, you can only capitalize at the construction stage or where the activities are going on. So if you have not started the construction, you don't start the going for the capitalization. No, no, no. Maybe construction, this question, you took the loan January. But construction started in February, right? You have to start capitalizing where February, because that is where the construction started from. The general one sent you to the PL as what an expense you are done. So this is the situation. In fact, all the three must be there at the same time before you can what um capitalize any of the borrowing costs. Even if one is not there, you are not allowed to capitalize the borrowing cost. Now let's move on. We are three stages. So I'm down with these three stages, then uh I think that's the end for today. The next stage is suspension of what borrowing cost. At what point do you have to suspend the borrowing cost? Suspension of what borrowing cost. Obviously, we have commencement, start, and we have cost. The only three you start, you pause, and you finish, or you stop. You stop. So start, pause finish they are going through all this we know when to start we know when to pause we know when to what, complete it or finish it okay so suspension of burning cost suspension of what, capitalization of the burning cost suspension of capitalization of the borrowing cost when do you have to suspend? No. Now, sometimes there may be a period where the construction of the qualifying assets uh, sometimes bring to a standstill or hold on. Standstill or hold on. That is all. Or temporary delay due to temporary delay. So temporary, temporary delay, right? Good. So delay or temporary suspension, temporary or suspension, temporary delay or temporary suspension. Good. <laughs> Temporary delay or temporary suspension. Good. Now, let me go into detail. What happens is this. Sometimes, and the reason, you have to hold on to your construction. Something will pop up that you need to pause the construction for some time. Please, this one, we are interested in those delays that are what on plan that are those delays that are what on plan it does not form part of management intention it's not form part of the formal work so any delay or any hold on with the construction which is not as a result of what our normal or formal plan we should hold on with it. So let me give a particular example. Example include what? Strike. Strike, employee strike. So strike actions. Then can also talk about shortage of raw material. All these ones are on plan. Shortage of what? raw material. So you can talk about those ones. So number one, strike. Number two, shortage of raw material. Number three. Number three. Catastrophe. Maybe you are conducting a fair building. You started, you started. Oh. The entire building collapsed. 
Then he start again. I'm like, oh, it collapsed again. Now he said, now let's put on. This collapse is there. It's not common. So let's prepare very well. So those periods, you have to also pause the capitalization. This one, some happened in Ghana here at the Mota, between um, 2012. 2012, there was um, a story building which was built behind Pure Fire in um, closer to the Kimpa. That's Kisama there. Uh, they wanted to use a certain period to construct the building. So what happened was they were working day and night, day and night, day and night, day and night. They go to a certain level, the entire building collapse. It even killed one person, one of the workers. The entire building <laughs> came down. So that means you have to suspend what the capitalization of the building cost. That is all. Now, if the suspension or if the delay is as a result of plan work, please don't suspend, continue. For instance, if the delay is not as a result of plan work, as a result of what plan. For instance, uh, we are constructing, let's say, a 25 story building. And then after every five story, we need to hold on for one month for technical inspection. One month for technical or inspection. So during this one month period, that one we can continue with capitalizing the borrowing cost. Why? This is a plan action. Have you seen another example? If you are building, let's say, a story building, after the casting of the concrete to the pillars, in the pillars, you have to allow it to get dry, maybe a period of what, one month or two. That one is the plan work. So that one I have to continue. That is all. So yeah, that would what the suspension. Now let's go to cessation. Cessation of borrowing cost. Cessation of what borrowing cost. When do you have to cease capitalizing your borrowing cost? So cessation of what borrowing cost. Cessation. Like when you have to stop capitalizing it. Now you stop. Don't pause. Yes, if you do stop and pause. Cost, that means you can come and continue again. Stop, complete it, cease, that is it. So, cessation or season of capitalization. Now, we are saying that if all activities, if all activities necessary to get the assets ready for its intended use or so, are complete if all activities are complete. If what all activities, all construction activities are what completed or complete. That's all. All activities necessary for the asset to be necessary to complete the asset for its intended use or so. Now, what if some cases you, you completed in parts or blocks? Um, you are constructing, let's say, eight blocks units. Block A, block B, block C, block D for a government. Let's say four. You are done with the block A and then some part of block B. This one is not even started at all. So you are saying that the one that you are done, cease capitalize the borrowing cost for this, and then continue for this in that order. Uh -huh. So the rest that you are not done, please go ahead and then capitalize it. On that note, we are done. Let me two items per then. Let me the calculation and then the disclosure. Let me add a disclosure requirement. Disclosure simple means, eh, let me just give you a secret. A secret behind disclosure. Disclosure means tell us relevant information about the transaction. So tell the examiner that yes, you should disclose everything. So anything that you remember in the transaction, tell the examiner. 
So disclosure simple means one. Over here, so what are you going to tell the shareholders? Tell the shareholders the amount of borrowing costs capitalized during the period. Yeah. So disclosure requirement, if you want to, when they ask for disclosure requirement, tell them that it's the amount of what? The amount of borrowing costs capitalized during the period. You have to disclose that. Number two, the capitalization rate. That's the, the interest rate that you use to calculate what the borrowing cost. That's all. we are done. Now, in our next meeting, we just have to pick questions and addition new methods. I will introduce you to it and then we move on. There are two types of borrowing. We have what we call types. We have what we call specific borrowing and then general pool of fund. So in our next meeting, we just have to pick questions under each and that's all. Number two is what? General pool of fund. General pool of what? Of fund. This one is like this. You pick a fresh loan or fresh debt to construct this qualifying asset. You need, I want to construct this asset. I don't have money. So that one, you go to the bank. That has now this is the bank. You go there, pick fresh loan to go and construct this asset. That is it. That is the specific word, borrowing. Then general pool of fund. It means that general, you've contracted some previous loans. Previous loans that are what? That are idle or surplus. There are some surplus. That's all. So that is that. So take note of that. That's a general flow of funds. So some loans with that you pick probably contracted some years back. Some of the money are still available. So just dip your hand inside, pick any amount, you need to go and construct it. So these are two ways. The third one is a hybrid mixture. The mixture of what? Maybe you need, like you combine these two together. Yes, you need let's say two hundred thousand to construct assets. If existing loans that you have, the amount is eighty thousand. So that means it will not be enough. So you have to go and now pick a fresh loan of one twenty thousand. Add up, you now get the total amount. Is it what? Is it to construct the qualifying assets? So that's all. So now next meeting. You just have to pick question, illustrate on this, how to be, how this one to be, and that is all, and that's the end of what we're cost. So probably we'll end here, then we'll continue again in our next meeting. Good. But if you do have any question, kindly ask before we close the chapter of the game. We are not questioning to, then we say that this is how far the good Lord will bring us. Great. So kindly um, join us when we are solving the questions in the subsequent videos. So that is that. Okay, so have a nice day. And kindly subscribe if you have not done that.